హలో నమస్తే సలాం వాలేకుం సత్రికాల్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ సెషన్ విత్ యువర్ వా షెఫ్ ఎట్ వారేవా డాట్ కామ్ టుడే ఐ వాంట్ షో యూ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ రిక్వెస్టెడ్ చట్నీ ఆన్ మై సైడ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ యూవర్స్ వాంట్ టు నో హౌ టు మేక్ ఎ టమాటో చట్నీ and tomato chutney definitely is my favorite in my restaurants i always serve tomato chutney which is really hot so today we are going to make that chutney for this preparation you need uh, quartered tomatoes just cut them into small pieces so it cooks faster some um, cumin seeds mustard seeds curry leaves salt uh, some diced green chili we are going to cook this green chili too i love my tomato chutney really really hot if you don't have green chili you could use even red chili whole and fry them tamarind you know every chutney needs good amount of sarnas even though tomatoes have sarnas we need little extra sarnas that's why we're going to add some tamarind little pieces of uh, ginger garlic in my chutneys i use large amount of garlics garlic has got a lot of medicinal values you can go and read on the web and uh, my chutney without garlic is incomplete i got some cashew nut you don't need to use cashew nut you can use chana dal also you can use fried chana dal if you want to use any other nuts you can use that coconut powder little bit hing to prepare this uh, tomato chutney add some oil in a hot pan some red chili see uh, i wanted to even though i'm adding green chili red chili has its own very nice flavor i love that flavor for my tomato chutney so what i do is add a little bit of uh, whole red chili then i'm going to use a um, little bit of mustard seeds add a little bit of cumin seeds to this preparation i have little bit of ginger i'm going to add it and a uh, piece of garlic this uh, frying of garlic and ginger is my important step to my preparation of uh, chutney you know because this garlic gives very nice flavor and i really love it then add green chilies okay then take little bit tamarind you know just take a lemon size of tamarind for uh, maybe you know 10 tomatoes that should be good so what we're going to do we're going to uh, make this uh, tamarind we're going to remove off all the seeds okay and then add the tamarind into this oil another important thing see when the tamarind fries in the oil it gives very nice flavor see cooking is an art because you have to do this step by step because you want to get the best flavor of the ingredients especially when you are eating chutney add uh, any nuts if you have okay now i have added cashew nut because you all know by now that i love cashew nut lot of my chutneys lot of uh, other preparations i make it with uh, cashew nut in india because the cashew nuts are so expensive lot of people use uh, chana dal dalia that is fried uh, chana dal in this preparations and they give an excellent taste and little bit different flavors so here i'm using cashew nuts you can go ahead and use um, chana dal little bit of curry leaves and hing hing is again optional for my chutneys i love little little bit hing add lot of tomatoes okay and then add some salt little bit so dear friends now you have to cook these tomatoes till they are nicely mashed up and then we're going to make into a chutney so you know this is the basic tomato chutney now let's look into the variations you know this is our basic tomato chutney we are going to make little bit variation okay so add a little bit of mint to your tomatoes and uh, this mint gives a very nice flavor as a kid whenever my mom makes this mint chutney i love to have uh, chapati along with it and it tastes excellent and sometimes i just add little bit ghee on rice and this chutney goes really superb we can do another variation here by adding coconut okay see coconut i add it only when i am going to eat the chutney within the same day or next if i want to keep this chutney for a week i don't add coconut but you can uh, ah what a flavor what a flavor what i'm going to do i'm going to add some coconut to this because i'm going to finish this chutney in the next two days now once you add all these ingredients cover it up and cook it on a slow flame one of my aunt she makes excellent tomato chutney and uh, when she cooks this chutney she cooks covered this mixture for 2 hours 
she simmers it, simmers it, and you should taste her chutney. Wow, out of the world. So, you know, you can cook slowly in a slow heat. You don't want anything to burn. And within the steam, let it cook for like 30 minutes. Then we are going to make a chutney and taste it. Just today morning, I got this email from this young lady and her little daughter, Mayuri, she's just three. And she says she loves to watch my show. So I love you, Mayuri. Keep watching my show and tell your mom to cook whatever you like on my show. Okay? Okay. Let me check in. Ah, oh my God. Today, I'm going to add some ghee to my rice. Woof. Now this all the mixture is cooked. So I'm cooking these dishes because uh, my cousin, Mr. Kamlesh uh, Naka is in my studio. And uh, this guy, you know, he's going out of town and I wanted to cook something before, you know, he leaves. So I'm going to make some tomato chutney, some mango rice, and then we're going to cook some chicken for him. Okay. See, I do not like to make a um, very fine paste of this chutney. I like it a little bit. See, like my ding chick ding chick. You know, make it a little bit uh, grainy. Do not make it really fine paste. Make it a little grainy. That gives you the grandmother feel of uh, the chutneys. So, we're going to add it here. Oh, into the blender. Okay. If you want to add some water, you can go ahead and add water here. And uh, let's make it. I'm going to add a lot of salt here. And then mix it real good. Wow, awesome. This is just like my mom's chutney. This is how my dad likes it. So this is not yet complete. We're going to give a tempering to this dish. Make it a little bit crunchy with little nuts in it. So we're going to make a tempering. I always love to use uh, deshi ghee in my tempering. Add a little bit of uh, red chili. Add uh, some mustard seeds. A little bit of uh, cumin seeds. Okay. And uh, I like to use a um, lot of urad dal. Okay, make sure uh, the urad dal is slightly colored. If you want to add a little bit of again hing powder, you can do it. Okay. Add curry leaves. Ah, ah. And then pour it over the chutney. See, this uh, last finishing touch we do gives a very nice flavor and then uh, especially when you're eating fresh, you know, that crunchy lentil gives a very nice taste. This is a superb chutney. I suggest you all try to make this. Add little mint and little coconut and it makes it even more flavorful and tasty. I hope I have uh, satisfied all my viewers who requested for the tomato chutney. And I hope you have enjoyed learning to make this chutney with your washer. And remember that whatever is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your cooking tips and recipes at whatever.com so others may benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.